Hello everyone, this is Amity Sensei. Today I'll be talking about an app called Liquid Text, which I recommend for reading PDFs on your iPad. Things like reports, instruction manuals, and books. So I'm just going to show you how it works in a nutshell. First off, you have to load PDFs into Liquid Text before you can read them. To do that, we press the Open File button at the top left. This allows you to see all of your files. We will pick a PDF file from here. You need to have your PDFs in your iCloud Drive, Google Drive, or OneDrive folders. I have my PDFs in the iCloud Drive, so that's what I will choose. Here we have an instruction manual for the Sony Alpha, so I'll use this to explain liquid text. Once you open your PDF, you see all the pages line up vertically like this. You can scroll through the pages quickly with a slider on the left. With liquid text, you can take the parts of the PDF you want to remember and actually throw them into the empty space on the right here. For example, let's just choose some text, press and hold, and then drag it to the right. This puts what we chose in a textbook format on the right, so we can look at it later. Let's try another section. Just press and drag. You can choose your fingers or an Apple pencil. Just choose the text and drag it over. You can then put labels on these saved text boxes. When you tap one, a bar will appear at the top of the screen. This lets you put a color label, blue, yellow, whatever you like. You can also put comments too. Just tap a box and then press comment, and you can add some text on the side. You can say something like, I didn't get this part, ask someone about this, or buy accessories, and stuff like that. You can connect the individual text boxes as well. Just drag one up over the other, and they'll snap together like this. This is where the name liquid text comes from. You can move the boxes around however you like, like liquid, and connect them. Putting the text boxes together as sets, rather than leaving them separate makes it easier to understand when you look back. You can connect them horizontally or vertically. It's pretty useful to keep related nodes together. When you want to jump to the part in the text box, there is an arrow or a triangle button on the side. Press it, and the PDF will skip to that part. This is super helpful. Even if you take the parts out, just by pressing the button on the side, the PDF will scroll between different parts. You can use this to jump between only the parts you want to see, so it's great not just for instruction manuals, but for reports and any long PDF files. In the PDF on the left side, you can shrink any parts you're not interested in by pinching in with two fingers. It just hides those parts for you and shows only the parts you've highlighted. Scrolling over and over through a long document is kind of a pain, so this pinching feature really comes in handy. Next is the search feature, which is super convenient too. So, please give it a try. Let's put in a word that we want to search for in the PDF. For example, if we search for the word focus, it will highlight the word in red for us on the screen. There's a bunch of them, but it picks them all up. Another thing I found really useful was that if you look at the scroll bar on the left hand side, there are these red marks. Can you see them? These are all the results. So, you can see where the red marks are. Scroll right down to them, and find the search hits there. You can tell there is quite a few near the top and the bottom. Now before, we chose the text and move it with our Apple Pencil, but you can also select an entire page by pressing with your pencil or fingers, choosing an area, and dragging it over. So in case you want to include a large area or some kind of graph, this is a good way to do it. So that was my quick introduction to Liquid Text, but they got a paid premium version that lets you write in documents and use markers as well. You can do this on the right hand side as well as lots of things. So if you're thinking about using Liquid Text a lot, consider the paid version. 
that's it, the free version is still really useful. So go ahead and download and give it a try. And so that's liquid text in a nutshell. If you like this video, please hit the like button down below. And also feel free to leave comments as well. And that's it for today. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I make videos on tips and hacks of iPad, so please do that too. I hope to see you in my next video. Bye bye.